scenes where cocky professional fighters get owned and humbled by their opponent. The world of professional fighting is full of tension and excitement. And by that we mean tension for the fighters and a whole lot of excitement for the viewers. And one thing we enjoy the most is some epic fails by egotistical fighters. Watch as these fighters get a taste of their own medicine. Here's one whose cockiness caused him to lose the match. A few punches here and a few punches there from both sides. Then the guy with black shorts challenged the guy with red shorts saying, is that all you got? A few seconds later, his question was answered and he gets owned. Turns out his opponent definitely had more to offer. Here's a clip of probably the most arrogant fighter in today's video. During the pre-match, this guy showed off his extreme confidence when he caught his opponent in amateur. This statement was far from the truth since his rival was years ahead of him in terms of experience. The cocky guy was actually the amateur here, yet he had the nerve to taunt his opponent. These two went head to head before the match even started. Karma worked its magic because during the actual match, he ended up knocked down by a single kick. I think we can all agree that he deserved that loss. Watch as this fight ends up with one boxer lying on the floor. Look at the one with the black gloves as he smugly hit his chest even though he was losing his match. His confidence never wavered. A few more punches and an uppercut from the opponent, and he's down. Here's another young guy who underestimated a veteran boxer. One thing you should never do in this sport is trash talk a champion. Romero, the arrogant guy here, did exactly that before the match. He even went as far as to kick a dummy with his opponent's face on it. Then he had an interview where he once again trash talked his opponent. As you may have already guessed, justice was served in the sixth round when he received a punch that landed him straight into the ropes. This guy, Uzi, arrogantly entered the ring with an entrance song that matched his moves. But exactly one minute into the first round, his cockiness was knocked out of him and he got taken down in just a few moves. Maybe next time he should tone it down and let his fighting do the talking. This guy thought he could give stronger punches than Mike Tyson. Well, let's see if he lived up to his own words. 90 seconds into the match, Tyson already showed him who's boss. Tyson didn't hold back and beat him to the punch. I guess we can safely say that Tyson's punches were, in fact, stronger. Here's another humbled fighter who met the floor just moments after being cocky. These smug fighters never seem to learn. Sidiri, the boxer in red and white shorts, was on his way to victory. Everything was going well for him until he started to get too confident. Watch as he starts to showboat and lets his guard down. He really should have just stayed focused. It was a close fight for these two guys. Watch as the one in green shorts said something to challenge the other guy. This proved to be a bad idea because a few seconds later, he received a quick uppercut to the face that ended the match for him. It only took one hit for Karma to bite him back. Here's another boxer who was all talk during the pre-match interview. Listen as he shares his plans for defeating his opponent. The other guy simply smiles and lets him talk. Now, let's move on to the match itself. Without even getting a chance to move on to the second round, the cocky boxer gets owned by three knockouts. Here's a short clip of a rather embarrassing moment. The man literally dived into the ring before the match even started. As the commentator said, that was pure gold. Here's another embarrassing one. As we've seen in previous clips, pre-match conferences always result in one fighter getting too cocky. This was no different. Watch as this guy trash talks his opponent the entire time. Later on, we see what a stupid move that was as he gets completely knocked out and not even inside the ring. He fell through the ropes and onto the floor. Ouch. That didn't turn out the way he wanted. Take a look at the boxer in the blue shorts. From the beginning of the clip, you can already tell how this will end based on the guy's aggressive hand movements and facial expressions. It always bites them back in the end. His cockiness got him nowhere. These heavyweight boxers certainly did some heavy trash talking during the pre-match conference. Watch as these two men go after each other. Even their managers joined in on the fun. 
While the two sides were equally cocky, the actual fight would go on to be pretty one-sided. In the first round, Cameron already fell to the ground. He got back up, only to go right back down again in the second round. And that's it for these two. Only Shane and his arrogance won this duel. This next clip is one for the books. The first few seconds alone show what kind of boxer Rashid is. He sure likes to show off and instigate his opponent, as you can see here. Let's see if Rashid lives up to his own height. Well, within seconds of the match starting, his opponent clearly dominated him. A few moments later, he met the ground, following the same fate as many of our cocky fighters today. Here's some more pre-fight cockiness from one of the boxers. He proudly stated that he was going to give his opponent extreme pain. Well, this didn't quite work out for him because he was the one who ended up with massive pain in the face after a strong punch in the third round. Here we see a fight last until the eighth round. At the beginning of the clip, the guy with colored hair dared his opponent to hit him in the face. Apparently, this boxer is known for using that tactic to outsmart and look in the other side. Well, it seems that his opponent saw this coming and refused to take the bait. In later rounds, we see everything go wrong for him. Watch as this boxer gets severely owned with a few knockouts. This boxer seemed to think that raising his hands to provoke his opponent would win him the match. Clearly, he thought wrong as he received a punch that made him fall down. To be fair, he got back up and continued to fight. In the eighth round, he lifted his hands again, but was quickly met with four punches that ended the match. Yikes. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like and share it with your friends. You can also comment by letting us know which types of videos you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.